Okay, so I just bought this item from Temu and I just wanted to showcase to see if it's actually worth it because this actually looks really cool on the product page and it was very, very cheap. This is essentially an LED light strip for your car. I actually bought this for four pounds and that is incredibly cheap. If you just look at how they market this with all of these cool LED lights around the interior of your car cabin, I just wanted to see if it actually will end up looking like that or it's more of a fad and it's just gonna be difficult to actually install anywhere. But let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna head over to the car and see if this is actually, first of all, easy to install. And second of all, does it actually look good? And I will take a drive at nighttime with this on because I feel like this is quite bright and it might distract me from seeing the road, especially when it is very dark outside. So that's something I also want to test. Now this has seven colors in one, but I think the eighth option when you do press the button cycles through all of the different RGB colors on this itself. But let's go ahead and test it out and see if this is actually worth buying for just four pounds. Okay, so I've just jumped into my Audi A3 Sportback and right now it's very clean. There's no trims, no real ambient lighting on the main front control panels. So we've got two USB-C ports just down here. I'm gonna be connecting this with a little adapter for the USB connection. And I'm gonna try and position them maybe underneath the dash and along the gaps that I can find. But to try and find slots in your car, whichever model you have, that also might be a challenge as well. You can get different lengths of this. I decided to go with the four meter one, but you can also get the smaller two meter length just to have a review of where you could potentially position this in the car before you do actually purchase this. On their listing as well, on the Temu page, it does go onto the door as well. So going to see if it's convenient to place anywhere on the door as well. So I'm gonna have a review, start setting it up and see if I struggle, but if not, and I do manage to get it in all of the slots, I will showcase how this looks at night time. Okay, so I'll try to do this as best as I can. Starts off in here and with the center console, I've got it going just along the panel here. This is the most annoying part. It just has to stick out before you can take it out of this area and round all of the other parts of the front. So I've got this going just in as many slots as I can. And you can see sometimes it is quite difficult to get it flush. But I did my best to push it in as much as I can. Not sure what I'm going to do about this part, but let's see how it goes. So this goes behind the steering wheel and then I bring it down underneath. So where the brake pedal and the gas pedals are, you can't see it, it's underneath there. And you'll see it's just coming over here. And to gear it across to this side, I've got it just there, flush inside there. Again, underneath the passenger side, right underneath so you can't see it. And then the last bit just comes up there on the side. So that's as much as I can do with the four meter cable. And I did use a screwdriver to just squeeze it in the tight gaps a little bit, but you don't want to damage the actual LED strip as well. So you need to be careful with that. But let's go ahead and turn this on at nighttime and see actually if this is worth buying for just four pounds. Okay, so here we are back in the car. It is a lot darker. So let's go ahead and plug this in, take a look. Okay, that is actually not so bad. I actually thought it was going to be a lot dimmer than this and it's not too bright. So it, I don't think actually driving with this type of light is actually going to interfere with me actually looking at the road. It is pretty clear outside as well. So having these are not going to hinder any of my driving. I did mention that I put it right underneath the passenger side and it doesn't glow through because I tucked it in quite deep because there wasn't any other slots. And the one on the door panel is very hard to see in the camera. You can just about see the red creeping through there. But overall, it actually looks quite nice. Let me go ahead and change some of the colors. There we go. Cycle through all of them. You can't change the brightness levels, but you can select ones which are probably a little bit darker, like the red one. This mode here, the last one I pressed, it's automatically cycling through all of the seven colors, but I don't think this is actually going to be something for me. I want to leave it more on a consistent color. I think red actually looks quite nice. It complements the black quite well. And actually for four pounds, this one is actually pretty good. So whilst I'm sitting in the back seat, I have noticed So for the people in the back, 
the light can be a little bit bright from that center console where it comes out directly from the USB part that is actually a little bit bright so I feel like there's going to be a little bit too much of a light in here when I am driving in kind of like pitch dark areas I wish there was an option just to reduce the brightness of this I think having it on just one level it might interfere for the people that are just sitting at the back because it's constantly just hitting them in their eyes but nonetheless for four pounds this is actually very good value for money and it does actually make the car pop a little bit with a bit of ambient lighting in fact i would say that red is probably the best color to be honest it's not the harshest and it actually just makes the ambience in the car look quite nice quite premium and there's not much more else i can say of course you have to remember that you need to find the right slots to put this on to whichever car you have but overall i would say if you do want something like this if you don't have any ambient lighting in your car already then i would suggest you know this is actually quite a nice thing just to make your car look a little bit nicer of course if you can find a much cleaner place to position these and don't have them just sticking out so they don't look a little bit tacky then that will be ideal but overall I'm happy I would only use this at daytime so during the day I'll just unplug it and if at night time I feel like turning this on for four pounds you can't really go wrong and that's about it if you guys have any questions about this of course drop them down below if you like this and you think this is actually good value for money make sure to like the video I always have really cool tech videos and gadgets and reviews of things like this for cars as well all the time so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones and I'll catch you all at the next one